Hi, I'm Natalie Goddard, and I'm a wife, mother, and doTERRA wellness advocate. Super excited to share with you the power of the SHARE Guide. You know, sharing is really the heart of what we do at doTERRA. We use oils, we share oils, and then we teach others to do that. I love that these oils make a difference in our lives. They have an impact, and then we just authentically share that with others, and that is the magic of sharing. The Share Guide is your opportunity to get set up for success with some proven ways to share, and there's a strategy to really changing lives through sharing doTERRA. So the share guide is going to bring you that strategy. And that strategy is really simple, but it helps you be organized and thoughtful in the way that you reach out to others and in the process of your sharing. So it simply starts by sharing, sharing the oil, sharing the product with someone that you care about, inviting them to learn more. And after we invite, we remind. We're gonna remind them to come to the class. We're gonna remind them about that one-on-one -on -one, and then we're gonna connect. As you think about those people and write their names down, think about the best way to approach them. Do they do well one-on-one -on -one with that kind of connection or do they do well in a class setting? Would they do better with other peers and learning together so the pressure's off of them? I love that we can share anytime, anywhere. If you're prepared, you are truly an advocate of wellness and you can share those samples, get a drop of oil on someone, give them an oil experience wherever you come in contact with them. As you share, you can share your story. You can share by reaching out online and sharing some of the great resources that we have. Sharing a video can be a really powerful way to share the power of doTERRA with someone. What's great about the process that we have in doTERRA is you don't have to be that expert at that first class. Someone is there and they have prepared for you. Your part in sharing is easy. You simply share the oils. Then you can rely on someone else, whether that's your upline, whether it's a video, you have that support and you just focus on what you do best. Care about these people, share the oils with them, and you're gonna fall in love with this process. As you're sharing doTERRA, you can share the product and we have a powerful opportunity you know, how many people have experienced freedom because of doTERRA? So if it's right to approach someone about the opportunity of doTERRA, feel free to do that. People will feel your genuine desire to make a difference in their lives. And this whole process will be sweet because of it. So stay in your heart, out of your head, and let all the mechanics come together later. Just stay in your heart, follow this proven process, and you'll experience great success. Hello, my name is Kim Camuso, and I am so happy to be here talking to you all about how your energy speaks before you do. The great thing about life is that we all have an energy completely unique to us. It's not what you say or what you post on social media, but how you show up. Energy is happening all around us every single day. And throughout our day, we are interpreting these energetic signals and they're then influencing our decisions. And a simple example would be, have you ever gone into a room and immediately had an urge to leave or have met someone and felt as if you'd known them an entire lifetime? This is energy in action. And the reason that's important is that as you're going out there and developing your business, your energy is going to be the loudest sound people hear. It's not what you say, it's how you show up. And so think about your energy as a currency for possibilities. If used wisely, it can position you for greatness. But if subconsciously you're not aware of the energy you're putting out, it can actually be one of your most tragic silent blocks. Being mindful of the energy we carry is so important. You have to get clear each and every day, not only on how you want to feel, but how you want to make other people feel. When I go out in the world, my main objective is that I want people to feel good around me. I want them to laugh, I want them to have fun, I want them to feel valued and heard and respected, and I want them to experience the enthusiasm I have for a life that I'm so grateful for. 
Every single day, it requires a mindful practice of developing this energy and harnessing it the best way you can. This is why things like positive affirmations, yoga, using our essential oils can all contribute to our energetic field. As you go out into the world and you interact with other people, they are going to experience the energy that you bring. The more that you invest in yourself, the more you invest in your energy, and you can become very successful this way. When you interact with someone, it doesn't matter what your rank is or how well developed your brand is or how massive your social media presence is, your energy speaks louder than you do. It's what makes people say yes to you and the things that you have to offer. There have been many times throughout my leadership journey where I have experienced the highs and lows of this energetic exchange. When I let negative emotions corrode my own energy, I was actually repelling people, places, and experiences I could have otherwise helped to heal, serve, or improve. These opportunities were lost, but what I gained from that was the realization that our energy is so important and it has such a huge impact on our business and our life. So I'm actually gonna give you five great tips that are very simple and practical for how you can boost your energy. The first one is to acknowledge that you can positively impact your energy at any time. It's a conscious choice to decide to have better and be better, and that's a powerful tool. The second one is to speak kindly to yourself and to others. Anytime I've let negative train of thought take over, I've actually been putting a barrier between me and the rest of the world. When I fill my head and my heart with positivity and love, opportunities unfold before me like they wouldn't have otherwise. The third one is use your holistic tools. We have amazing essential oils. Many of these carefully crafted blends in our emotional aromatherapy line or the mood management kit or in our single oils are meant to be used to elicit profound emotional changes. In an instant, you can shift your energy and your mindset. The fourth thing is protecting your energy. And this one can be the most challenging because it requires action and bravery. And what this looks like is cutting toxic relationships or saying no to things that don't serve you. The last tip you can use to boost your energy is to do more of the things that make you feel better and stronger. And what this looks like is yoga, meditation, self-care, positive affirmations. All of these things are going to amplify your energy in a positive way. As leaders, it's so important to show up in our lives, not just our businesses, as positive, optimistic, loving, caring, compassionate, brave people. This is gonna be the greatest gift we can offer ourselves and others. As always, our energy shines brightest when we are serving others, strengthening our relationships and inspiring change. My name is Molly Dayton and today I'm going to go over the basics of how to master a one-on-one. -on -one. Personally, I love one-on-ones because it's just between me and them. They get my undivided individual attention for the next 45 minutes. It's all about them. Also, I believe statistically, I do better with closing rates with a one-on-one -on -one compared to a class. So here are some tips that you're going to need when you get started. First of all, you're going to want to schedule your one-on-ones. That is so important. Instead of being at the park with five moms, ten moms, and you start talking about it, and then you start talking about the enrollment kits, you might start looking like that crazy oil lady. So instead, make sure you schedule your one-on-one -on -one so it's a separate event. Number two, make sure you practice in front of the mirror and get really, really comfortable with it. In fact, what I would suggest that you do is audio tape yourself and then listen to it over and over again. Number three, give them an agenda. Be very clear and concise of what you're gonna be going over, so make sure that's written out first. Number four, you're gonna to wanna to bring the top 10 oils and the little petal diffuser with you. Wherever you're meeting with them, if at all possible, make sure you turn on that diffuser. As we all know, there's something really mesmerizing about that cute little diffuser, okay? Number five, a notepad and a pen, so they can take down notes when you're talking about their different health issues. Number six, have an enrollment form ready with the high areas highlighted that they can fill out easily at the appropriate time. Number seven, a living magazine. Listen guys, that living magazine is magical. There's DIYs and recipes and science articles. There's something always about healing hands and co-impact sourcing. This is just chock full of such awesome information. So they get to go home 
with something tangible. They can go home with something. All right, let's get going. So first, when you set the agenda, what is their health goals? Remember, this meeting is all about them. Next, you're going to address their issues with the top 10 oils, if possible. Then you're gonna present the different enrollment kits. All right, let's start with your agenda. I would say something like, today we're gonna to talk about your health goals, a little bit about the company and our most popular oils. My part will take about 30 minutes and you don't have to have any pressure to buy anything, but if you see something you like, I'll be happy to help you order it today, okay? That would then lead me to my next talking point. So catch me up. What are some of your health goals? As they are writing, make sure that you're writing it down on a piece of paper. Also, what I would say is, what else? Dig a little bit deeper. Trigger, trigger things for them. So give them ideas such as, is there anything that your kids could use? Maybe it's all about keeping their kids healthy or keeping their immune system strong. Maybe it's cleaning their gut. Maybe they have, like all of us, a little bit of stress in their lives. Just give them a couple examples. All right, let's get to the meat of the meeting. So you can go over with this natural solutions kit and these are your different talking points. The, different for, the difference for me between a regular class and a one-on-one -on -one is I go over these a lot more quickly because I spend a lot more time on their specific health issues. So I'm gonna start with something very simple, a very simple explanation about where essential oils come from, how highly concentrated they are and then I give them that experience with peppermint. I'll just pull out my peppermint, have them put a drop in their hand and then I have them touch the roof of their mouth and watch them right in front of you have a great oil experience. Then I would go into how doTERRA is different than other other companies, what sets us apart, their quality. So then I would go into CPTG. All right, then it's an easy transition to how do we use these essential oils? And you give them the three different ways, aromatic, topical, internal. I always like to add a little sentence or two about some safety tips, such as, as we all know, keep out of the eyes, out of the ears, the nose, and other sensitive areas. Make sure you dilute with the carrier oil and not water. You just want them, when they get those oils in their home, to have a pleasant experience the first time. All right, let's go now to the fun part. Let's go to addressing their health goals. And this really is where you're gonna spend the majority of their time. So we're gonna go through the top 10 oils and see how those oils will apply with them. So make sure you study up on those oils before you meet with them. So maybe what I would do is pull out an oil. I'll pull out lemon and say, all right, let me give you some examples of how lemon might help you. First, Lemon is a great support for your mood, not only for you, but for your family. It also helps purify the air. Lemon, as we all know, in your water will help cleanse your system. Do you have any gooey, sticky stuff at your house that won't come off? Pull out your lemon. How about stinky shoes? Okay, so when I say stinky shoes, what's funny is everyone has sticky, stinky shoes in their homes. Their kids, their spouse, and so that's one that just something as simple as that helps them Think how easy oils are. I also tell them how I combine lemon with my with honey for a scratchy throat. Um, and then you do, after you go through the lemon, then you just pull out another oil and you do the same thing over and over again. At the same time, making sure that you're addressing their health priorities that you have written down. So you're combining both of them into one, all right? After talking about the oils, I make sure that I talk about the benefits of having a diffuser in their home. The great thing about diffusing is you aren't the only one benefiting from it. Everyone else in the room is also. So I just really drive in that point. All right, let's talk about the clothes right now. There are many different great kits that doTERRA offers, but I give them two different kits to pick from just to keep it very simple. So I usually talk about the Home Essentials kit, and then I settle in on my favorite, which is the Natural Solutions kit. But you will wanna talk about the kits that you are most familiar with and that you are the most comfortable with. So let's use the Home Essentials and the Family Essentials. Those two are great uh, kits to start with. Here's probably an example of how, what I would say. Now I'm going to show you two of our most popular starter kits. The first one is the Home Essentials kit. 
The kit has all the oils that we just talked about today, and they are the full-size bottles, 15 ml with approximately 250 drops per bottle. So you're really getting your money's worth because you're only using one or two drops per application. This also comes with the pedal diffuser. Great for your room. This kit is about $275 and you're saving over 86 when you buy this kit. The second kit I'll talk about is the Family Essentials Kit. It's the same oils that were in the Home Essentials Kit, but they come in the smaller size bottles with approximately 80 drops. Those are five mil bottles. And you don't get that pedal diffuser. With this kit though, you also get the peppermint beadlets, which is great for freshening your breath, and the on guard beadlets, which is great for boosting your immune system. Those two little beadlets are great to stick in your purse and carry with you all day long. This kit is $150 with a savings of $36. I then simply would just ask them, if you were going to get one of these, which one would you prefer? Easy enough. Or I might say something is, which kit makes the most sense to you? All right, those two sentences. After you ask this, be quiet, shush. This is gonna be really hard for you, but let them think and let them process without you yapping at them because of your nervous energy. Just be quiet, believe me, just keep it simple and be quiet, all right? So what happens if they say to you that they wanna buy one? First thing, stay calm and act like you know what you're doing. So that is when you're gonna fill out the enrollment form that you already have highlighted for them to fill out. Or you could pull out a laptop and you can go to your back office and enroll them right then, all right? So what if they don't wanna enroll? Give them another option. Any oils, any other oils that they might, might wanna buy separately at that time. Sometimes I've heard of people that offer the intro kit for $35, okay? I wouldn't go there until the very last resort and don't jump there too quickly. Remember, we all know the kits are where it's at. That's where the most value is, all right? So you're, you're giving them the best bang for their buck with a kit, so don't fold too soon. All right, I love to send someone home with some information. So like I talked about before, I give the living magazine or, and some type of booklet that they can look up their health priorities uh, waiting for their oils. Maybe it's a five mil wild orange from the class in the box. Last but not least, there are three things I go over before we leave. These three things are the secret sauce to expanding your business. So don't change, don't forget this part, all right? If you don't do these things, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna still be hauling buckets in your business and you're not gonna be building a pipeline. So don't forget. Number one, write these down. Set up your follow-up. I like to call it your lifestyle overview. Here it is, your live guide. I say something as simple as, I wanna make sure that when you get your oils, you know how to use them for your individual priorities. And then I also love to give you some tips and tricks of how to use your oils. I also wanna make sure that you know how to log into your back office. So when you're ready to reorder, you can make sure you get the proper credit so you qualify for all the free product that's gonna be coming at you. And last, I want to show you all of the support that our team has to offer you. Then I pull out my calendar and schedule it right there with them. One thing that you need to note on that, it's not a question. I do it as a statement. All right, let's now schedule your lifestyle overview. If it's a question, if someone asked me, do you have a half hour extra? I would say no. So I just do it as a statement. Okay, here we go. Let's schedule our lifestyle overview. All right, number two, I try to get referrals from them. I'll first ask them how they like the presentation that they just sat through. And then I tell them I'm trying to help as many people as I can. So if they would give me five referrals, then I just think of something creative. You can do whatever you want. Another thing that I love to do is have that great keychain. So with that keychain, what I do is say, for every referral you give me, I will fill it up with a bottle of oil already done. Something very fun, just be creative, all right? I just assure them that their friends don't have to buy anything. 
but all I'm looking for are their nice friends who care about their health. They have had such a fabulous one-on-one -on -one and they feel comfortable with you right now, so why wouldn't you ask for referrals? And third, I save the best for last. I always, always give a little information about the business. You never want to make assumptions or write someone off because you just know that they wouldn't be interested. So I would say something as simple as this. Would you like to learn um, about how to earn a little bit of money or at least earn enough to pay for your products? That's it. If this gets their attention, I would then go one step further and tell them about the benefits of hosting a class and or set up another meeting to go over the build guide. Just don't do it at this meeting. You'll put them on brain overload, so keep your time commitment and keep it simple. Now, aren't you excited to go practice everything that you've learned today? So go practice, practice, practice. The more you do, the more comfortable and confident you will be. So my challenge to you is practice in front of a mirror, videotape yourself, and then go practice on some nice people. Hopefully that's your friends and family. So go schedule a one-on-one -on -one this week and who knows, maybe they might wanna buy. Gina Truman. My topic that I'll be talking about is the power of relationships. I'm sure you're thinking, well, relationships, that's a pretty broad topic, right? Well, if you're human, this is probably one of the most important topics since relationships are pretty much the foundation of life. And if you're in this business of doTERRA, relationships are actually the foundation of everything we do from the very beginning when we start sharing to wherever we are on our journey. It's even been said that if we believe our business is built on relationships, then we need to make relationships, building relationships, our business. So if you think about it, relationships are the topic of most conversations. We are either wanting to become better and more confident about talking to people about doTERRA, or we are hopefully wanting to improve the relationships within our families, our teams, and even within doTERRA worldwide. So I'd like to chat about each one of those topics just for a moment. First, the idea of wanting to become better and more confident in talking to people about doTERRA. Have you ever thought that maybe most of the relationships we have in our business started way before we even heard of doTERRA? That's how it kind of was for me. Maybe it wasn't like that for most of you or some of you. So when I first started doTERRA 10 years ago, we had about 22 single oils and 10 blends. We didn't have any training tools or anything like this. I wish we would have had something like this. I wish we would have had a lot of things. So what we had more than anything when we first started our business was the relationships, the strong relationships that we had already um, started way before doTERRA did. So that is who I first went to were those people that I had those relationships with, were my siblings, my cousins, my close friends. Most of them trusted me and so they joined forces with me. Zig Ziglar even said, if people like you, they will listen to you but if they trust you, they will do business with you. I even had one of my friends say to me when she first enrolled, Gina, the only reason I'm doing this is because I trust you, which happens a lot. So what do we do when we've talked to everyone in our warm market, which I honestly believe that our warm market never ends because people within our warm market have a warm market. Anyway, back to our topic. I understand there are some of us who were or still are scared to talk to people, strangers, about doTERRA because we don't want to come across too salesy, or maybe we are insecure because we don't know enough, or maybe woo isn't our top, one of our top five strengths. I know it's not one of mine. It might be some of yours. I know it's my sister Rhonda Ford's. She's woo. That's one of her top five strengths, and she's really good at talking to people. She doesn't care. For those of us who find it challenging, let me share a quick personal story with you that happened to me when I was a teenager. The day before my junior high year, my parents moved four hours away and I had to start at a new school. So I went to this new school and I was so excited to make, to make new friends. Um, instead, I had the hardest time making new friends that year. In fact, I was the girl who got the rude notes. I was the girl that some people made fun of. It was heartbreaking. It got so bad, I was so scared to go to school. 
I'll never forget crying about it one day, and I didn't want her to go to school. And my mom and dad finally sat down with me, and my mom handed me a book that pretty much changed my life. That book is called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Del Carnegie. If you guys have not read this book, I challenge you, that's my first challenge for you, is to read this book. Because my mom gave me that challenge at 13. And even though I didn't love reading at the time, what my mom did is she went through and she highlighted all of the main points for me. So I really had no excuse. So guess what happened after I read that, this book? I grew to love it because it helped me realize just how important relationships are. But even more, I learned what I needed to do differently and how important it is to build people up, to get to know people. That's not, it's not about me, it's about the other person. It's about making other people feel important, no matter who they are, whether they're the CEO or the janitor. It's about finding commonalities. It's about truly being interested in other people, not thinking about what the outcome will be. Our relationships are so important, you guys. Del Carnegie even said himself, you can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get people interested in you. Needless to say, this was a pivotal time in my life because I realized in order to have a friend, I needed to be one. So I started applying what I learned. Within a year of putting these ideas into action, I gained one of the best friends I still have to this day. The point of my story is to share with you that in order to get someone's interest in you and what you have to share, you first have to be truly interested, sincerely interested in them, no matter again what the outcome will be. Like the quote we often hear, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Or maybe we could say people won't buy what you have or they won't listen to what you say until they know that you already care about them. And a side note, maybe some of your warm market has not, nor will they ever join you on your doTERRA journey. That's totally okay, you guys, because I'm thinking about it. If everyone in my warm market would have joined me at first, doTERRA would be a $10 billion company. I'm just saying. Plus, we've got to remember, if people say no, they are not rejecting you. They are just rejecting this little bottle of oil. And this little bottle of oil, this little bottle of oil does not have feelings. So we cannot take it personally if someone says no. They're just saying maybe not yet or that it's not something that they want, which is totally okay. There are plenty of people wanting and praying for answers. We've got the answers, you guys. So we've got to get through some no's before we can get to the yeses. And aren't those yeses worth every no? Yes, they are. So getting out of our warm market, our comfort zone, is when we probably need to utilize relationship skills even more because we need that trust portion of the relationship because we don't want to sell something to just anyone. We want to truly care about them and get to know them and understand what their, their challenges are, their health challenges, their emotional challenges, even their financial challenges. Again, we have an answer. We want them to learn and use doTERRA because we truly know it will indeed make a difference in their lives. I'll tell you right now, people can sense someone who is sincerely interested in them and their health. So again, it's about being real with them and not worrying about whether or not they say yes. It's about the relationship you're building no matter what they say. There are so many levels to relationships, aren't there? However, the most important level of any relationship is the amount of trust that is between us, us and the person we're talking with at the time. The greater the trust, the greater the relationship. At least that's been my experience. In fact, I'm sure there are some listening to this who know me personally. So of course, you would probably be a little bit more interested in listening to what I have to say. Then there are those of you who don't know me, which is totally okay. I hope that you'll still listen because I truly care about you and I hope that you can gain something from what I have to say. So I'm guessing that at least 90% of you joined doTERRA based on your trust between you and your enroller, right? And I also know there are some of you who joined without even knowing your enroller. Either way, we are all wanting to become better at inviting and in building this business. And in order to do that, I feel we need to be genuine in our approach, whether we personally know people or whether it's our team or no matter who it is. I was blessed with wonderful parents. Both were very genuine with people. So I feel like I was blessed to be able to have that example. However, some of us need to work on being genuine and authentic. I am a huge advocate for keeping it real, for being our true selves, coming from our heart, our genuine, authentic selves. Let me share with you 10 behaviors of a genuine person. First, they don't seek attention. Second, they aren't concerned with being liked. Third, they can tell when others are not sincere. And going along with that, they are sincere. They're truly sincere. Fourth, they are comfortable in their own skin. Fifth, 
They do what they say and they say what they mean. Six, they don't need a lot of stuff. Seven, they are not thin-skinned. Eight, they are not overly modest or boastful. Nine, they are consistent. And last, they practice what they preach. You know how there's always a lot of talk about being consistent in this business? The same goes for relationships, you guys. We need to nourish our relationships as much as we nourish our physical bodies. Because again, there's nothing more important than relationships. One genuine new relationship is worth a fistful of business cards. I saw that quote the other day and I thought, that is so true. I would much rather have someone leave a conversation with me being uplifted than worrying about if they have my business card or not. As long as I have their information, that's all, that's all okay. Carrying on. So our company is built on relationships. Whether we are building relationships through social media avenues, in person, over the phone, in a classroom setting, or wherever, everything we are doing is based upon and around relationships. We have a responsibility for those on our personal teams, whether we personally enroll them or not. So I wanna do a little rating exercise with you guys. If you were to rate yourself on a scale from one to 10 with 10 being the highest, how would you rate yourself on these following statements? My team knows I care. I communicate at least once a week with all of my qualifying leaders, not just when I need them to put in volume for me to rank advance or get my power of three. I consistently reach out to my entire team through social media, newsletters, and or webinars, etc. I am actively involved with my team. I am grateful for my team. My team knows I'm grateful for them. I show appreciation to my team members, especially those who are on my team that are working hard. I randomly reach out to team members to see how they are and if there is anything I can do for them. I want to see everyone on my team succeed no matter where they are on my team. I am excited when I see team members rank advancing, even if they pass me up. That's a huge one. You gotta be happy for them. That happened to me a lot, you guys. I had a lot of people on my team pass me up and they're still passing me up, which is totally okay. I honor them and I am excited for them. And we have to keep that enthusiasm and that gratitude for their hard work because it benefits us. So now, if your total score above is 100, then you're doing pretty darn amazing and you win the Leader of the Year Award and we will make sure that you get your award. So let us know if you got 100. My total score was somewhere in between 75, 80. So I have a lot I can improve upon. So I want you to look at these statements that you scored less than seven or below and see what you can do to improve. Because the way this business is set up is we make money on anyone who is ordering or doing this as a business. So that means anyone who is doing this on our team is helping our bottom line. They are helping our paychecks. They're helping our lifestyle. We need to remember this and never take one member on our personal teams for granted. There's that little symbol we see in our back office that represents every person, right? When we were looking at our genealogy tree, look at those people and scroll over. You'll see their names pop up. Every one of those people, those, that little symbol represents someone with a heart, someone who's been out there working, someone who has ordered oils and maybe they're not even working it as a business. It doesn't matter. It's time to reach down and lift them up and help, no matter how you do it. Now, let me chat for just a brief moment about doTERRA company wide. We are all one big team, one big happy family, right? Do you know that what that means? That means when we hear of someone from another team, not on ours, who is not getting the support from their team that they would like, we help them by finding the support they need, but not through cross-recruiting, you guys. There is not one leader in doTERRA who has not had someone from another team approach them and ask to be on their team. I have had several people from other teams throughout the years and recently asking if they can change over to my team. My response has always been and always will be no. We bloom where we, we are planted. Emily Wright has said that, that several times. However, I will help them and get the support they need. And sometimes, maybe less than 5% of the time, it might make sense to move to another team, which I have supported that through the placements committee. That's the only way we want to do that. Plus, you guys got to remember, when, you're, when you worry about taking people from other teams, that's a scarce mentality. You guys, there's plenty and more. Get out there and find those people who are praying for us. So what it comes down to is I hope we are all grateful for every single team member and we are finding ways to support them. And when we help everyone, no matter whose team they are on, it does come back to us in more ways than one. And one of those ways is through the leadership bonus pools. So we're totally fine to help one another. 
So no matter what, let's keep the culture of doTERRA pure, just like our oils. That is so important, you guys. I'll get emotional. Some people know that I do that, but I'm gonna stop right there. Okay, so I'm gonna end this by sharing three tips I wanna share with you that I know will help you along your doTERRA journey. Number one, we've got to show gratitude. We've got to love on our people, people. How can we expect our team members to first go out and do something that we're not, we're not willing to do? And then second, if they're going out and we're not even appreciating them and showing gratitude to them. One of my favorite quotes lately has become, gratitude is like a magnet. The more grateful you are, the more you will have to become grateful for. I have experienced that in my life. And I know that as we each try this and do this a little bit more and express our gratitude just more often throughout this week and then into the next week and so on and see what happens, I know that good things will come back to you. I know they will. That's called karma, you guys. Karma is real, especially in this business. And if there is someone on your personal team with whom you are troubled with, try to see why they showed up in your life. Because according to some experts, those people are in our lives or they keep showing in our li or they keep showing up in our lives to teach us something for a reason. Find out what that reason is. Work it out. You don't leave this life without anything except the relationships we have. So why not make every one of our relationships a positive, uplifting one and support each other? Which brings me to number two, believe in someone. Even if they are not on your front line, let's encourage each other to help everyone. So I declare a doTERRA-wide nobody is left out campaign. Reach down and no matter how far down you have to reach, if someone is on your team, even if they're on their 20th level, treat them as if they were on your first three levels. I'm not saying you have to travel to Timbuktu for them, but I am saying let's support them. Let's love them and show them that we care. The very least we can do is acknowledge them, which is better than not doing nothing at all. Because guess what, you guys? It will come back to us. There is nothing greater than when someone on my team turns to me and says, Gina, I could not have done this without you. I could not have done this if you would not have believed in me. That is the icing on the cake to this business. So let's do this, you guys. And then number three, be authentic, be genuine, be real, you guys. You cannot, be any of, you cannot do any of the above without thinking of others first, authentically, genuinely. And if you're being real, people can always tell, again, if you're coming from your heart. And if they don't feel it right off, they will sooner or later. So be yourself. There's one last quote I want to end with. To thine own self be true. Now last, if you haven't read, again, How to Win Friends and Influence People, I challenge you to read it. I love what Maya Angelou said, and I'll leave with this quote. People, for, will, um, people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. I challenge all of you who have made it to the end of this video, I applaud you, that every day in the next 30 days, find someone within your team and lift them up in some way, either through encouraging them, sharing your belief in them, or simply thanking them. Life is too short, you guys. Don't you want to leave a legacy of love, something for people to remember you for in a good way? Then let's be more forgiving. Let's show more gratitude. And let's be more loving and caring and supportive of each other and everyone on our team. Thank you for listening, my doTERRA friends.